Today is basically my Saturday. It is the first day that I've had off in a little while. And I just wanted to do a quick haul, possibly a giveaway. I wanted to share with you a few new things that I got recently. First one would have to be this guy right here, which is a new like crossbody bag. It's like a circle, just really cool. And this is from Bagu, which is the same company that I have my like keychain thing from. It's just a black circle. I saw it at Stephen Allen. And um, at the time I was actually looking for a purse because summer's coming around and usually during the winter or during colder months I never carry around a purse because I have all these pockets inside my jacket normally. But since um, summer's coming around I don't really want to carry a jacket obviously so I got one of these. Um, so it's pretty small. I think it was around $140 which is pretty reasonable for like a nice leather bag. There's a pocket on the outside and then four pockets on the inside. So I have like all my lip stuff, my keys, my wallet, um, and whatnot. So yeah, it's a really good size and I'm really excited about it. I've been carrying it around every single day. When it comes to makeup, I've been using this. This is pretty new right here. It's going to be, well, you know what? I'm actually shooting a video for it on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. And then the launch is on Monday. So you're going to actually see the launch before you see this video. But... It is a highlighter. It's called the Halo Scope from Glossier and it's like a highlighter duo. There's like a bronzier color and then a highlight color. I'm going to do a full review on this so I'll link it down below so you guys can see and I also have a promo code for like five dollars off. And I know that a lot of you will be pissed off because I know a lot of you have voiced your frustration in the fact that um, Glossier doesn't ship internationally so I'm going to do a giveaway. There's going to be five winners. You can choose three things that you want so just name a wish list of three things that you want. I'm gonna post a photo on my Instagram, so I guess I'll post it right here. Just comment on this photo and then list three things that you want from Glossier. And then um, after a week, I'll run a bot, so I'm not actually like selecting these people. So five people randomly selected will win. I'm gonna contact you guys, and if you guys live out of the States, if you guys live out of the US, then I'll personally send it to you. Um, so yeah, five winners, three things each. And I know that Glossy is actually out of a lot of the things that they're selling, so um, if it happens to be sold out, then I'll message you again and then you can pick something else. I'm having a really hard time right now because I, I didn't really think this through, so I set up my desk right here, right? It's like right in front of the window, and then I'm talking to a camera, but I, so I put all my cameras here. Sorry about the mess. But I put all my cameras all over here. So when I'm looking at myself, um, it's really hard because I don't know which lens I'm really looking into, so that's why you catch me just staring off like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into photography or um, 35 millimeter, millimeter film again. Um, I bought this off Amazon, which is the coolest thing ever. My roommate told me about this. It's a film scanner. So what you have to do is actually get your film processed at like um, a one hour place. There's one like in Glendale, which is the next neighborhood over from where I live, so um, it's not too bad. but. You go there, you get it processed, and they charge about like $8 a roll, maybe like 4 to $8 a roll, and then um, you just pay for it and then you take it home. If you have it scanned and printed or scanned and mailed to you, it's like an additional eight, like $15 per roll, so it just adds up quickly. So this is about $100 and you can get it off Amazon. I bought this on Amazon and literally you just slide the film through the slot and it shows up on the screen and then you scan it and then save it to a like uh, SD drive or SD card. So you just keep your film negatives and then you can basically pull up the pictures whenever you want. Um, the only downside to that thing is that it gets kind of dusty so you do have to clean it regularly. If you don't, then you'll see the marks on the photos, um, fingerprints and whatnot. So if you're not really good about that, then I'm, you might as well just process, develop and process your film at one place. A couple new things that I, God. Well, this morning I went to eat um, 
Squirrel, which is this place in, I think it's in Los Feliz or maybe it's Silver Lake. I went there to meet up with my friend Heather to get breakfast and then I got this tea from her. She got me a box for my birthday um, a couple months ago and I drank just about all of it. This is what it looks like. It comes in like one of these bags like that. So it's just literally just lined up in here. So this is a Brahmin tea. So if you're into Brahmin tea, definitely try this out. This is Stephen Smith tea maker. Um, I'm sure you can buy it online. You can't really find it around here in LA. So she actually got it from Colorado. I started wearing Wranglers, like these kind of Wranglers, um, because I was looking for these Jesse Cam pants. They're like sailor pants, um, but they're super expensive. And then I contacted my old boss, Gil, who's the buyer for 11th Moon. And she's like, oh, why don't you just get old Wranglers, like boys Wranglers? And then wear those instead. They're cheaper and they're cool and not a lot of people have them. So she actually got me the pair that I'm wearing right now. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like a high-waisted zip up. Um, the bottom is kind of cropped and it's almost like a boot cut. But yeah, I've been wearing it for a little while and I've gotten so many compliments on it and I love it so much. And this pair right here in particular she gave me, she found it at like a thrift store and I love it. The other two pairs I got from Amazon and they're boys jeans. So whenever I buy things online, I never actually go on my computer to purchase things. So there's this new app that I found out about called Dote. It's in my like shopping folder. So I normally buy things like off Amazon, eBay, um, online, but there's a new app. Basically you select these stores and then you put them into a mall. So this is like my little mall right here. And then I can actually go in and favorite things. And then whenever I favorite things, it will notify me when these things go on sale, right? And I actually went and purchased a few things. And the great thing is that you just input your information once. So like my credit card information, my email, my um, notifications when I need it, my mailing address. And then whenever you go to check out, you don't have to go through the whole process in each individual store because this one app just holds all your stuff. And I think you actually get free shipping off your first order because I ordered a pair of shoes from Zara. It's actually these ones that I'm wearing right now, but I'll show you. It looks like this, so it's like slides. This actually folds out, it's kind of gross right now because I've been wearing it so much, but um, this actually folds out and you can wear it as like a, like a loafer, but it's like a slide like this. And then, so I purchased it on a, like a Saturday and then I received it on, I think a Monday or Tuesday. So like immediately right afterwards and there's no shipping. So I don't have to worry about that. And it was just the best. So another thing that I got from this app, I actually got two things from Sephora and one thing from Mac. I got this Mac 170 brush, which I use as a like foundation brush. It's just a kabuki, but a little bit slanted. So it's really good at blending in um, concealers and whatnot. And then also I was at, when I was like waiting for my film to get developed, I was, I was at Rite Aid just like looking around at their makeup section. And then I found this blush right here. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. And it's in the shade, I think it's called Mellow Wine. The most creamy, buttery, look at that. It just applies like no other, super pigmented great color, and then finely milled. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a new blush that's cheap. And it's cruelty free too, there's a little bunny stamp right there. Another drugstore thing that I just bought recently is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. It dries as a matte, but it's a gloss texture. So it just goes on your lips and it doesn't stain it. It's not like a long wear lipstick or a liquid lipstick or anything like that. I really like the applicator. It's like a little heart or like a sickle cell or something like that. Um, it just applies the product really well and the color I have is called Statement Nude and the thing that I really like about this that I couldn't pinpoint until I wore it a whole day is the fact that okay so when I was in middle school and maybe even high school I used to wear this L'Oreal lip gloss and I don't really like lip gloss but I used to wear this really thick nasty L'Oreal lip gloss called Color Juice and the color I had is called Watermelon Crush, and the scent smelled just like this. And the only reason why I wore that lip gloss, even though it was the nastiest, stickiest lip gloss ever, the only reason why I wore it was because the scent smelled so good and it smells just like this. So it's a little bit fruity. It's not like overpowering or anything like that, but it just smells so good and it just totally brought me back. So this is kind of nostalgic for me. 
the scent, so that's the reason why I bought it and I've been wearing it. Also, um, Statement Nude looks really good as blush as well, so even the texture itself, you can blend it out and it just looks beautiful on you. Another thing that I recently bought is this e.l.f. Stippling Blush Brush, and the reason why I got this is because I just bought this from RMS, and there's a store down at Abbott Kinney called Strange Invisible, and this color kind of reminded me of the color that was in the L'Oreal Mercier palette. That blush just stays on your cheeks like all day. But the only thing is that I didn't want to carry like a huge palette around, so I figured this would be a good size. So I got this, and at first I was just using it with my fingers. It works really well, it does last all day, and I don't know, it's just perfect. And you can use it on your lips as well. Um, but I started using it with this e.l.f. $3 um, blush brush, stippling blush brush, and this is just so much better. So you just kind of dot it in and then kind of dab it around and then blend it out. It just works like a dream and it's so cheap, this thing. This, on the other hand, is pretty expensive. I think it was like $36, which is a huge splurge for me. Oh, another thing I got on that app, um, the Dote app, is this right here, which is the NARS Audacious Lipstick from Sephora. And this is just such a luxury for me. It's like such a nice package too, because it kind of just, there's a magnet so it closes right in the right spot each time. Um, but the color I have is called Leslie, which is a cherry rosewood. I think it's called a cherry rosewood, I'm not sure. But the color is really beautiful. It looks like this. Um, yeah, but what I do is I actually just kind of blot it on my lips. I don't even fully apply it, so I kind of rub it in a little bit and then I take whatever's left behind and then put it on my cheeks and wear it as a cream blush. I'm really into cream blushes recently, so um, yeah, I just kind of wear it like this and kind of rub it out a little bit and it looks really nice on and it kind of stains your lips all day. Oh, and another thing I got from Dote is this Milk Makeup I think it's called a lip to cheek. Yeah, lip and cheek. And the color I have is called Rally. And it's just like a pink, kind of almost glittery. I think it would be good for summer. But I figured this would be great if I just, um, during the summer, I just want like a really easy product to carry around with me. I can put this on my cheeks and on my lips as well. And it smells really nice too. It smells kind of lemony. Yeah, so I'll try this out and let you guys know what I think about it. On to skincare things that I just got. I got this right here pretty recently because I actually used something similar a little while ago, maybe like a couple years ago, um, and then I used the whole product up and I just remember liking it, but I didn't go back to it for some reason, so I thought I'd give it a go again. And it smells so good. This is the Corey's, Cor is it Corey's? Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. So I guess essentially it's a night cream, but it smells so good. It's so crazy because I used to use this and the smell just brings me back and it just smells, it's not like a rosy scent which is so weird because it's called Wild Rose. It's like a very clean, I guess it's a little bit rosy but it's just such a clean scent. And I'm really excited to start using this again but I'm actually finishing up a Tatcha moisturizer right now so as soon as I finish that I'm almost done with it. I'm going to start using this which I'm really excited about. I just can't wait to start this. And then for SPF, I got the Corey's Sun Care Yogurt Nourishing Fluid Veil Face Sunscreen with SPF 30. And I've used this um, sunscreen a couple times underneath makeup and it's great because it's just a very liquidy, um, almost like kefir yogurt. But it's just a very liquidy sunscreen and it just drops out like that. So you can pour exactly what you need and just blend it in super easily and, and your skin just drinks it up. And it smells like coconut, which is really nice, so this is gonna be really great for the summer. All right, I gotta stand up because I've been sitting for a little while. But Wednesday's here and today's, actually today's not Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Holy crap, Wednesday, today's Wednesday. Um, my friend Maya who works at To, I keep, I wanna say To, okay, oh, but it's actually Poketo, which is like a cute store in downtown, like the artist district area. They did a really cool collaboration with um, PF Candle Co, which is the cam candle company that made this candle right here, my favorite lavender candle. Um, but yeah, they made one with tangerine vetiver and it smells so, so good. It smells, I don't know, it's like, to me, I don't know what vetiver really smells like. But to me, whenever I smell this, it smells almost like a little bit of tangerine, a little bit of basil, which is kind of odd. But I love it so much. And 
I've only had it for like a week or maybe two weeks and I've already burned it all the way down to here because every time I come home I just directly go to this candle and light it up and then also after I got breakfast with Heather um, I went to the store called Virgil Normal it's literally on Virgil and Normal Street and um, I found this work coat which is basically like a trench coat it's like the same color as my jeans so it doesn't like really really good with this outfit but um I saw this in the window and I'm like holy cow so then I went in and then tried it on I'm like this would look really good with like high heels or clogs on so I got it and I'm trying to figure out what kind of outfit I can wear with it I'm thinking like maybe this dress Okay, so I just put on the outfit. I mean, it doesn't look so bad, right? I know it's kind of top heavy, but I figured if I'm wearing like heels and stuff, it wouldn't look too bad. And then I think it'd be cool for like a rainy day too. Ooh, a couple new things. Donnie just got these chairs from, they're like Le Corbusier chairs. It's crazy because I've always wanted one of these chairs. My old boss from Arth, the hat store that I worked at forever ago, um, he had them and it looks so cool. And I remember, always thinking that when I grow up, I'm gonna get a set or like get one. And I never did, and Donnie beat me to it. He got one. Are you that one? Ramen. Mm. And some bacon. What you got there, sport? Just a new friend. Just a new friend. <laughs> she made well, this me this your little- new friend. Wait, what is this thing called? Pokadamo? Uh, this is- Kokodama, so it's uh, basically moss balls as a literal translation from Japanese, I think. Actually, don't don't take my word for it. I'm not, I'm not Japanese. But basically, you just take the plant and you wrap its roots in soil and a combination of like peat moss, and then you continue to wrap it uh, with moss, like huh. preserved moss. And then they just grow and you can hang them or you can just put them down on some kind of surface, like a really cute ceramic dish, and that's it. Cool. We just had breakfast, we had coffee, and then I shot a video. While well, I napped. Yeah. It was great. What do you have here? your lips right now? It looks really good. Oh, it's the NARS lipstick. Ah, oh, yeah. Got a NARS exception. Anyway, so I just shot a video, and it's already like 12, 12 noon, and it's like 100 degrees outside. Yeah, it's so hot today. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go to work. I'm leaving. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go to my cousin's graduation. Eddie! I got home a couple hours ago and Donnie's friend dropped off his dog because he has an art show like down the street. So he dropped off his dog at our house and I guess his dog's gonna have a play date with Wednesday as soon as Donnie gets home. Um, it's like almost nine right now and it's still super sunny out so i'm kind of really liking the summer weather um so this dog is the cutest dog he's like a corgi mix his name is eddie he's like a short man he's just so cute and i hope he gets along with wednesday because wednesday is so big in, in comparison to him so i hope she doesn't like dominate him too much but look at him he just like follows you everywhere and he's stealing wednesday's toys so hopefully she won't get so upset about that Eddie! His ears are so floppy and look at that tail, it's like bigger than him. The plants outside because they weren't doing so well, like this guy right here. Um, I know Michelle has the same exact plant in the same exact place, but this one, like, it's just not doing so well. And then Lauren told me that you can actually spray it with a little bit of alcohol so that if there's any mites or anything, yeah, like that stuff right there. It would just kill that stuff, um, but I don't have any alcohol right home, right at home, so I need to get that, and I also need to get a spray bottle. And then this cactus right here, I mean, it's doing pretty well, but it's all crooked up top, so I'm leaving it out here for a little bit. And then this guy right here, my friend Austin got for me when he was in Joshua Tree. It is Sunday. I went out last night um, to this place called Non... No, we went to an art show first with Donnie and then got back to the house and then Donnie went to Chinatown to have like a boys night out. And then I went to this place called Non Plus Ultra to see my friend Giselle and her boyfriend Nick. 
and for some reason today I'm like feeling really bummed out and I'm wearing all blue Blech. I'm having a really hard time getting out of bed I woke up early had breakfast and then I just haven't really moved around or anything like that but I did upload a video so that is pretty productive yeah I'm gonna head out to um, Santa Ana to see my friend Austin he's having like an art show at his house he's turning his house into like a gallery for a day so it's gonna be really cool um, I need to pick up some food and some treats for them so um, I'm gonna go head over there and no problem big sir Look at all these plants. This is like a museum itself. This is the gallery. Welcome to the museum. Oh. You have a play going on. I love how we all got these. Uh... Hey, Austin. Can I sell this? Absolutely. That's um Best thing is I'm gonna do me, dude. Cute, but we can find look at it. Alright. Like everything.